Whether you are testing a dash cam for the first time in the office or solve device problems on site as an after sales staff, knowing the basic status of device helps with the analysis of device performance and problems. The Wi Fi key dashboard can meet your needs. First, open Wi Fi key and then connect to the device hotspot to enter the dashboard. It displays the following content version information, network status, positioning status, memory card status, camera status, and other important data. Next, I will introduce them one by one. The version information shows the version numbers of the firmware, hardware, and cellular model of the device. From this data, you can judge whether the current version of the device meets test requirements. If not, upgrade first. The network status shows the currently set server address, device network connection status, APN-related parameters, and signal value. If the device is offline, this information can be used to judge why the connection fails it's because of a failure to identify the SIM card by the device, insufficient mobile data, or a server error. Then, you can troubleshoot accordingly. The positioning status mainly includes the system used, the number of visible satellites, and their signal strings. With this, you can understand whether the device is using DPS for position fix and how stable it is. If the device fails to be pinpointed, try to test again in an open area to exclude hardware issues. The storage status shows the essential status, the available space, and the total capacity of the memory card. For a memory card error, you may need to confirm whether it is inserted correctly or available, and then handle accordingly. The camera status mainly shows the connection status of each camera, which is either connected or unconnected. If a channel is unconnected, you may need to check the cable connection or keep the device power off and then disconnect and reconnect the camera of the channel. Then check the connection again. If the problem persists, please replace the camera for comparison test to see whether it is the camera or device has gone wrong and handle accordingly. That's all for the dashboard. Just follow the steps to check the information you need. All future updates of this app will be based on this.